has coughed up blood as the police knew proof that Megan used a secret phone for the yacht's sex work and sleeping with Andrew. Ghislaine Maxwell's unofficial biographer has suggested that Meghan Markle have had met Prince Andrew via Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein years before she had met Prince Harry. UK's The Steeple Times in 2020 reported that the renowned journalist had tipped them off to inquire whether the now Duchess of Sussex meet Prince Andrew as a friend of the convicted pedophile Epstein before she had met Harry. The question was revisited by Summers, the author of Gislin Maxwell, an unauthorized biography, and a new podcast shared on YouTube in which he explored the connections between Markle, her close friend Marcus Anderson, Epstein, Maxwell, and Prince Andrew. Suggesting that Markle's friend Anderson may have been a connector to Epstein as far back as 2001. Summers had shared that the media may find a photo of Markle on a yacht in Phuket, Thailand, cavorting with Prince Andrew through the Maxwell. Summers also claimed that Markle had been invited Yacht Week 2016, an event later described at Sodom and Gomorrah at sea by GQ. Although it remains unclear whether the Duchess of Sussex attended the event. The author further said on Twitter that the Duchess of Sussex is controlled by some forces that control Jeffrey Epstein. Prince Harry and Meghan arrived in Melbourne for the third day of their royal tour. At the end of a three-day royal tour, the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex prepared to leave Melbourne as they were greeted by officials before stepping back onto the plane. As ever, Megan looks stylish dressed in a classic Martin Lee trench coat and navy dress by Australian designer Dion Lee. But as well as a chic clutch bag in her hand, eagle eyed royal fans also noted that she was holding onto her mobile phone too, as seen in the picture posted by Governor Victoria's Twitter account. No doubt, Megan was preparing to catch up with her family and friends during her journey, making most of the time that she had before her busy schedule kicked off again. In other news, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are reportedly planning to build their own world in a new virtual universe, in a bid to reach millions of more fans. The Duke and the Duchess of Sussex are said to be in talks with technology company launching the world's first public land sale in the metaverse, which many people think could be the future of the internet. Harry and Meghan, who are living in California after quitting the royal duties, are following in the footsteps of celebrities, including singer Justin Bieber and socialite Paris Hilton, who have already joined the metaverse. A source close to the couple had told the mirror, both Meghan and Harry believe that there will even be a greater ability to spread their message if they have a presence in the virtual world as well as the physical world. They've spoken to a variety of experts and the view is in the next stage that they take the brand truly global. Metaverse users wear a headset to enter a virtual world using technology like virtual and augmented reality. People can use a digital currency such as Bitcoin to buy goods, services, and land to build their own world. Harry and Meghan could appear as a digital avatar of themselves in the metaverse, as the couple who had started their charitable foundation Archwell in 2020, are reportedly in advanced talks with PAX, the world to launch the next stage of their brand business. The technology firm is offering immersive, lifelike experiences in a 3D world. An industry insider had said, Harry and Meghan have allegedly gone global, as this would take them into a different stratosphere. PAX World's founder, Frank Fitzgerald, said it was offering the Sussexes a plot of prime land in the metaverse. It comes as Harry and Meghan are pursuing new lives of personal and financial freedom in the US after stepping back as working royals in March 2020. When they quit the monarchy, the late queen had banned them from using their Sussex royal brand. They have since signed lucrative deals with Netflix and Spotify to make shows and podcasts. The couple have filmed a reality show to Netflix while the latest episode of Meghan's Archwell podcast was out today.